Hey guys, what's up? It's Alec Torelli. Today's question comes from one of my readers on Instagram who says, do you have any advice for good but extremely unlucky poker players? That's me, right? Who feels like that's related to them. Um, so this is a great question. I get this one all the time. People sending me bad beat stories or hands they lose and whatever. And it feels like we're all unlucky poker players, right? Like I feel like how many, this must resonate with like 95% of people watching this video. Um, so this is a great question and I'm gonna lay down the hammer and give you a little bit of perspective on this subject and some of my own thoughts and trainings of what I do to kind of overcome bad luck in poker mentally and some perspective that I hope helps you guys. So first of all, there's sort of two ways to analyze this. The first is that you are a good poker player. You, you think you're a good poker player and you're getting unlucky and that's the excuse that you're using because you're actually not as good as you think you are. And that's like the tough love, harsh truth that may or may not be true for you. I'm not saying this is true for you. I'm just saying this is definitely possible. This is one possible option where, you know, you're seeing that you do get unlucky, which does happen. I'm not saying that you never get unlucky. I'm just saying that luck isn't the reason why predominantly you're, lo you're losing, but instead you're looking at the situation and saying, oh, you know, these are the hands I'm losing with. Oh yeah, I got bad beated this one time. And maybe you get bad beated for $300 and you, you blame that on why you lost that session or why you're having a losing month because, oh, I got it in with a set and they had an overpair and they hit and now I lost this month where it's like, okay, that contributed to the loss, but that isn't the reason why predominantly you lost because other players get unlucky too. Other players have bad beats and stuff like that, but they still have winning months. They still have winning years. They have winning careers. They're winning poker players. So the first option, and this is the tough love option that, that probably applies to a decent amount of people that feel like they are just unlucky and they can't win at poker, is that they're actually not winning poker players. And they just, or they're not winning, or they're not winning in that period, they're not playing their best, or maybe they're going through a period of bad luck and variances there. But if it's happening over a long sample size, the kind of the, the way to check yourself is if this is happening repetitively, if it's a habit, if it's something that you feel like is, you know, conditioned to you, then the chances are that it's not bad luck, but it's something else at play here. And so one thing that, that separates, I think, good players from average players or great players from average players is that the, the better players are not asking themselves, you know, they're not looking at the things they can't control. They're not looking at the fact that, oh, they got unlucky or this happened to them because that's beyond their control. In fact, they don't really even care about that. What they are focused on is what they can do to improve. You can't change the cards you're dealt. You can only change how you play the hand. And so one of the things that the great players are doing is they're trying to say to themselves, okay, um, what is the way that I, what can I personally, Alec, do differently to win more money the next time I'm in that situation? How could I have played my hand differently? Even if a brutal card comes, even if the opponent has a backdoor flush and you have a set, they ask themselves, they don't say to themselves, oh, the backdoor flush got there, I'm so unlucky. They say to themselves, could I have folded and put my opponent on that backdoor flush. And if the answer is yes, they might do that differently next time. If the answer is no, then they leave it there. It's over because they did everything they could. They played the hand the best way possible and the rest is out of their control. They forget about it. That's the way life works. That's the way the game of poker works. You have to make decisions based on the information you have. You have to play the hand the best way possible with the information you have and accept that there is a role of luck in this game and that's essential thank god for that because if there wasn't luck we'd be playing chess and the best players in the world would win all the money every time and nobody else would gamble for money the second part of this question that the, the second sort of perspective that i have that could be happening to you is that you know you, you feel like you're getting unlucky all the time but the reality is that you're only perceiving the bad luck and you're not really acknowledging the good luck the truth of the matter is that numbers don't lie you're not you're not running statistically worse than you should be running over a long, long period of time, right? Maybe in a month, maybe in three months or whatever, you're running worse than you should or you're running better than you should. But if you play hundreds of thousands of hands of poker, hundreds of hours of poker, thousands of hours of poker, you're going to run at your expectation. Your aces are going to hold up often enough. Your, your sets are going to hold up often enough. And you're going to run at expectation, right? Some of the time you're going to lose with aces because you're not supposed to win 100% of the time, but you're going to run fairly over a long period of time. But the reality is that we don't perceive things like that. Even if our aces win 80% of the time, it feels emotionally to us like we're losing every time we have aces. Why? Because when we win with aces, our expectations are met. So our expectation is this, 
and this is the outcome. It's even. So we don't, we forget about it because our expectations are met. The movie is as good as we expected. The dinner is as good as we expected. It didn't exceed our expectations. You know, the only time you remember winning a huge pot with aces is when you win a four-way all-in because your expectation is to win a single all-in. When you win two all-ins, you remember it because your expectations are exceeded. But most of the time you have aces or you have a set or you have a nuts or a straight or a strong hand, you just expect to win. And when that happens, your, your happiness level is, is, you know, average. You're just like, oh, I, I won with aces. Of course I won with aces. When you lose with aces, your expectation is here. And what's happening is your ex, your, your, the reality is here. And there's this, this disconnect. And that disconnect is very shocking to us because our expectations are here and we're, we're losing and we're running a lot worse, a lot below expectation. And that's very painful. And we're hardwired, you know, bi biologically, evolutionarily, I believe, to remember only the pain that happens to us more than we are hardwired to remember the joy. And there's good reason for that. I mean, think about it like when you're in a dangerous situation or a bad situation, negative situation, your life could have been at stake, you know, thousands of years ago. Whereas a good situation, the, the, the good that could happen is never as good as the bad that could happen is bad from an evolutionary standpoint. So we're hardwired to focus on the negative. We're hardwired to focus on the bad. We're hardwired to focus on the problems, the pain, the suffering, because we want to avoid that to survive. And when that happens at the poker table, it's very painful. And so when your expectations aren't met, it's sticking out to you. And it feels like it's happening all the time because you can go a day and you flop top pair, you flop a set, you win a few pots, you win 400, 500, 700 dollars. You have one hand, you lose, and it's like, holy fuck, the whole world's coming down. I'm running so bad, I'm so unlucky. Oh my God, my ace king didn't flop a pair. Oh my God, I always lose with ace king. I always lose with a set. And it's like, it happens once. And it just completely erases all the other good luck that ever happened to you. And that's how it feels. But that's not the reality. That's not what the numbers are saying. So that's the perspective I have for you, man. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please like this video and leave a comment below with what your thoughts are or just give me a little emoji. Let me know that you liked it. That lets me know that I'm producing content for you that you guys love and I'll continue producing more of it. If you like this video, you can also subscribe to this channel. I can see where people are subscribing and I know that if you subscribe on this video, it means I'm gonna produce more content like this. So let me know you like it by showing your support and feedback. That would be amazing. You guys are awesome. If you have questions you want me to answer, send them over to me in the comments below or preferably go to alectorelli.com slash askalec and I'll pick the best questions and answer them here in future videos for you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you for your time and sharing. Hope you enjoyed the tough love in this one, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.